Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, guess what we're doing today? We're doing an unboxing of the European night crawlers that are being sent to me from Northeast Worms. And uh, let me put you down, and we will get to it. Alrighty. So regular uh, post office or post United States Postal Service I think it was two day two day shipping okay. looks like I've got a, a packet here um, let's see what that says I don't know if it's directions or Hello, or I don't know, but we're going to find out. Okay, there we go. It's a thank you. And I've got a card and some stickers. Yeah, stickers. Three stickers and a business card. I don't know if you can see that properly, but I'll make sure to put that on there at the end. And what we have here looks like I got a t-shirt. We'll see that in a bit. And a box of, of shredded paper. And let's get them out of the way and have a look at the worms. So it's in one of those bags that you, you get bird seed in or what have you. Kind of a tarp material. I mean, to be fair, I'm not caffeinated anymore. It's after work, so the fact that I can't seem to get open a, a string is uh, par for the course for me here. Oh, we got an escapee already. I don't see anybody left in there. Let's see who we've got here. Uh, and I've been told that there is a pound of them. Okay, they're all very wiggly. Very lively. Decent size worm here. Of course, they're all in the uh, peat or cocoa peat or something. But they don't appear to be any worse the wear for the travel. They've come from New York to Illinois and they appear to be just fine. Um, let me see. Get one of my kind of measuring cups here just to kind of gauge an idea of what we've got. Um, that is, if you know, they're, they're active enough that they're wriggling away from me here. But they did hold them at the post office for me because I don't have a proper uh, mailbox here where I live. Looks like they've even laid some cocoons in here in the meantime. Um, the peat is partially dry, which if I understand from professional worm farmers that it's, it's best to have them be a bit on the dry side than on the wet side because, um, I don't know, that's just what I've heard, I don't know. So one of these cups is about a pound, give or take. So I'm assuming since this, he knew this was going to have an unboxing associated with it, um, 
I'm not going to get shorted any worms. But, you know, honestly, I've never had any worm farmer short me. I've bought from three or four different people, and I've never been shorted worms. I think pretty much in the business, I think people generally try to buffer it um, just in case, you know, there's a, a problem in shipping that it takes longer and something happens. These worms look nice and healthy, and I, I do have a bin all ready for them. Um, I have uh, that 55-gallon half barrel that I put my own European night crawlers in one of them, and once I had spoken to Northeast Worms, I thought, you know what, we could make that a European Nightcrawler room. And then it could be the all European Nightcrawler channel and I wouldn't have to worry about them running amok and um, commingling. As I, I sometimes worry that worms do tend to run amok and get in different bins. Okay, whose video was it the other day? found an African nightcrawler in a completely wrong bin. Who was that? Was that World Compost? I think that was World Compost. Um, doesn't surprise me, because African nightcrawlers are not quite as perturbed about being dried out as other kinds of worms are. Um, so it makes perfect sense that they would be able to run amok, whereas other kinds of worms would definitely die if they were taking a long trip across the yard. Okay, well I think that's enough to, to gauge. Most of them are, are good size adults in here. I don't see a lot of even medium size worms. They're all good size worms. So let me turn on the scale. Here's my weighing apparatus, and I shall tear it out. Stay. Here. Okay. And then we'll pour them in here and give or take a little bit of the, the bedding. We'll see what this is going to weigh. All right. another one. Oh, there's another one. I think they have probably lost weight being in here, but uh, for my scale it says 0.83 of a pound. And that's just a yield fish scale, so I, who knows how right it is. But I imagine if these guys weren't dehydrated from their travels, you can tell how big they are, um, they would probably be a full-on pound. There's another one. Um, but I am going to put these guys, let me grab you up, and I will put the, the contents of the container in the bin. So hold on and I will take you with me. Okay. So here is their new home. They've got the, the bedding here which has been waiting for them for about a week and it's had uh, worm chow in it and so they shall be ready to go into the bin. So let's flip them over. Make sure we get everybody and kind of fluff them out. Like I said, these are really nice big worms in good condition, packed nicely. Wasn't any weird wetness like the bag was soggy or anything like that, um, which was the case the, one of the last times that I ordered worms was 
that they were packed kind of wet and then the the box got um, soggy and unfortunately then there was actually worms escaping at the post office. Uh, let me tell you how much they really didn't like that. Um, yeah, not everybody wants a bunch of worms running amok um, at all. So the post office people, if they did like me, they didn't like me after I ordered the African Nightcrawlers. So I'm going to fluff up these worms and bedding here to get everything homogenized and I'm going to let them kind of settle in and I'm going to give them a day in order to um, settle in before I feed them, feed them and I will bring you back when I do. Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed and today we're going to take a look in on my brand new European night crawlers that I have uh, was given a gift from Northeast Red Worms. Not Northeast Red Worms, just Northeast Worms. There's different kinds of worms. I didn't even get red worms. I got European night crawlers. Anyway, let's have a look at them. They've had time to settle down and uh, let's see about getting these big boys fed. Let's uh, scrounge around and see if we can find anybody. Look at these monsters. Look at that. Wow. Those are some big babies. Amazing. Look at that. These are easily as big as the African Nightcrawlers when I first bought them. But you can tell by the clitellum and the tiger striping that these are in fact European Nightcrawlers. Look at that. I just love them. Good worms. Good job. I mean, I hate to play favorites or anything, but look at that. Aren't they pretty? I know, kind of being a girl. Look at the pretty thing. Girl and her worms. Now that they're all fluffed up again, look at them. They dry them out a little bit when they're shipping them so they don't get uh, heat stress or cold stress depending on the time of the year. But I am willing to bet these guys are going to take full advantage of this 35 gallon space. 35? I don't know. What's half of 55? All right, so let's see. There's some very moist part at the bottom there, and that's where I'm seeing a lot of them. Probably because there wasn't any food in here, so they're probably trying to make use of the... I had put some of my worm chow in here, and there was probably just a little bit in the bottom. So mixing that up. And then let's get them some for real food. Alrighty. See what we've got. Got an orange pear. That should go over well. Radish. Got some cherries. Uh, what else have I got in here? Card cardboard. These are green onions, or what these are. Alright, I think for the one pound of worms that I bought, I didn't buy them. Um, they were gifted to me, uh, but the one pound of worms, that's more than enough to keep them going for a week or so, even if they are ginormous. So I just wanted to do a quick update on them. Try not to disturb them as much as possible since they are new. Um, kind of going a little bit lighter in the feeding than I normally would. Um, but it's a new bin and it did cycle for about two weeks, three weeks before I put the worms in there. So they have had an opportunity to uh, the microbes to build up in the bin. So hopefully it will cycle faster and they'll be able to be on their way and be super happy little worms. Sorry, big worms. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.